A seller was just awarded over $400,000 in damages for a failed real estate transaction because a buyer didn't close a property in 2022. Case itself is not out of the ordinary. What I found interesting was that there was a counterclaim where the agents were also named in the suit. Like always, if you want a copy of this case, wait till the end of the video. I'll provide you with my email address and if you email me, I'll send you the full case. This is the case of Wynn versus Kentrist. Sellers had sold the property to the buyers and after extensions and not closing, the sellers ultimately ended up selling the property again to another buyer and sued the buyers for damages. Now the judge awarded a summary judgment for the part of the actual breach contract, but the claim against the real estate agents at this time remains unresolved in this decision. Why the agents were brought into the counterclaim was because it was alleged that they were not acting neutral and failed to properly value the property. The buyers also alleged that the sellers failed to mitigate their actual loss. On this particular case, the judge ruled that the plaintiffs demonstrated reasonable efforts to mitigate mitigate damages by actively attempting to sell the property and adjusting the asking price based on market condition. Now going back to the agents, the buyers alleged that the agents misrepresented the value of the property, were not neutral, and chose an appraiser who did not act in their best interest. It'll be interesting to see what happens to the actual agents as a result of this case. Now, cases like this aren't abnormal. If a buyer has agreed to purchase a property and fails to close, contract law is relatively clear cut. The key takeaways from this case are that before you enter into an agreement, understand your financial situation and ensure that you've got plan A, plan B, and plan C. Sometimes things don't work out. We see this happen in specific situations where a buyer purchases a property but hasn't actually sold their home yet and they need the funds from that initial sale to actually close the purchase. This is just one of many many examples. Given the awarded amount of $400,000 plus in this actual judgment, this is what I would consider a benchmark case. If you're interested in receiving a copy and reading about mitigation, how to mitigate, what the reasonable tests are, and how a seller can actually sue a buyer in a situation like this, email ricky at rickyrathor.ca. I'm always putting out content on how to make money, save money, and avoid problems. Ricky Rathor here again, broker owner at Remax Metropolis, real estate lawyer at Rathor Big Professional Corporation. If you like content like this, please like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.